guys, it's Janice. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to go over some things I use on my face to keep my skin healthy. So today I thought I would go over a few simple things and inexpensive things I do to keep my skin looking the best it can at my age of 49 years old. So you guys hopefully have seen my videos on my Morpheus and my V-Beam and different things I've done to my face in the past where I have to go into the spa or a dermatologist's office and have those procedures done. But in the meantime, how you take care of your skin every single day is very important as well, if not more important, because those are the habits that you have every single day to take care of yourself. So what I'm going to do is show you the products I use every day, give you some tips and tricks that I use, and so if that interests you, stick around. Okay, so first of all, the one thing I will say is how your skin looks is not necessarily just by what you put on your skin. It's what you put in your body, I think, is actually more important. What you eat every day and what you drink every day really does affect how your skin looks. So what I do every day is I have a water bottle. Actually, I have a few different water bottles. Actually, let me show you. I'll take you into my kitchen. I'll show you which water bottles I have. Okay, so usually for work, I will use this water bottle, and this water bottle is 64 ounces, and I fill that all the way up to the top every single day, and nine times out of 10, I drink all of it. Sometimes I'll leave about 14 ounces left at the end of the day, but I usually try to drink all of my water. And what I will do is I will fill this with filtered water. So you can see I have my Berkey over here, and I fill that up every single day. That whole, I don't know how much that holds. I think it holds one or two gallons of water, but I fill up my water bottle every single day with filtered water. I will also add in some of my collagen proteins. So I do one scoop of this every single day in my water. And then I also have some electrolytes in my drawer here. So these are by Element. It just flavors my water and it makes it more enjoyable to drink. So this one is citrus salt. This one is watermelon salt. Or I'll just add some of this lemon juice and I will do a little bit of stevia and that is perfectly good also and helps me to drink my water every single day. And then when I'm not at work, I will usually use this bottle. This holds 40 ounces of water and this one keeps my water very cold. So I like using this one when I'm running errands during the weekend because I can just leave this in my car and then it keeps my water super cold. But I think I just got this one on Amazon. I will link it below for you guys. Okay, so that is my water and what I put in my water every day just to help me drink it because I find that plain water to me is kind of boring and I find that while I can drink it during the day, I'm not that picky. I just, it's not enjoyable to me so I try to add a little bit of flavor to it every day. Next, I don't consume a lot of sugar, whether it be from fruit or coconut sugar or cane sugar, any type of sugar. I generally don't eat very much of. Every once in a while, if I'm having a salad, I'll put a couple dates into my salad just to kind of make it more exciting or to mix it up a little bit, to mix like sweet and salty. But on an average day, I really, I don't eat any sugar at all. Um, an average day of food for me, for breakfast, I'll usually do two or three eggs with some bacon and maybe a quarter of an avocado. For lunch, I might do something like leftover chili that I made at home, and then I'll do the same thing for dinner. Sometimes I'll do chicken and vegetables. Other times I'll do beef and vegetables, but usually nine times out of 10 or 90, 8% of the time I cook for myself at home. And then when I do go out, I don't go all crazy. So 
I'll have basically the same thing I would normally eat at home. I'll have chicken and broccoli or I'll do fish and some other kind of vegetable, but I generally don't eat anything deep fried. Um, I'll, I'll probably indulge in a piece or two of bread just because I don't have bread in the house, so when I go out, that's something I like to enjoy. But for the most part, I try to keep sugar as well as gluten out of my diet, and now it's just a normal practice for me. I don't even have to try to think about it because I've been eating this way for so long now. So I just try to eat as many whole foods as I can and as clean as I can, and I can do another video on that as well. And then I did do another video a while back about what is in my refrigerator. I'll link that here um, if you guys are interested in seeing that at all, but I don't really think about how to eat anymore. It's just, I've been doing it for so long, it's a habit. I really don't drink anything at all. Maybe if I go out with a girlfriend once a month, I'll have a glass of wine. But uh, really, that's about it. I just don't like how it makes me feel anymore, and it dries out your skin and can cause wrinkles. So, um, sunscreen. I think sunscreen is important. It does have chemicals in it, especially obviously if you use a chemical sunscreen. Um, if you're going to be out in the sun for a long time. I always put sunscreen on, and I used to be way more strict about my sunscreen, but I am not in the sun very often. If I'm going to be out in the sun all day, I'll put sunscreen on my face, but if I'm, if it's a typical day for me and I'm just going from home to work, back to home again, and I'm not going to be having my face in the sun all day, I don't even really worry about sunscreen. I will still put it on sometimes, and my makeup has its own sun sunscreen in it but I'm not as worried about sunscreen anymore as I used to be because I don't tan my face anyway. So every morning I try to go on a walk, um, but I don't even put on sunscreen then because I'm usually out walking by 6.30 in the morning and the sun is barely coming up or it's still pretty low in the sky where it's not very strong. But if you're going to be out in the sun for a long period of time, then you want to wear some type of sunscreen. Stress, I think stress plays a huge part in how our skin looks. I'm not very good at controlling my stress. I'm a high anxiety person. I just feel like I kind of always have anxiety. And I do try different things like tapping or laying down on this mat that I bought with the prickly things on it. I think I showed it in a video. Controlling your stress is a huge thing in how your skin looks as well. Something I do every single night, no matter what, is I wash my face. So I still cannot believe that I hear of women leaving their makeup on at night before they go to the bed, they don't wash their face. I'm like, I've maybe left my makeup on once or twice in my life. I'm not going to say that's 100% never happened. I can't remember the last time I didn't wash my makeup off my face. And I do it every single night, so it's a habit. So every night I will wash my face with my CeraVe and this is my favorite face wash. I would say it takes off about 95% of my makeup. It is non-irritating. It doesn't dry out my skin. It says it is hydrating cream to foam cleanser for normal to dry skin. Cleanses, hydrates, and removes makeup without disrupting the protective skin barrier. Now, this product is not clean. I know a lot of people don't care about that. I know a lot of people do care about that. I'm kind of, I try to be as clean as possible, but it is difficult to find some products that you are really good products that do what they say they're going to do that are all that also don't have a lot of the chemicals in them so this is one thing where i just i use it i like it it gets my makeup off it's on my face for a minute and then it's off so this is my favorite cleanser i use this at night all the time without fail wash your face get your makeup off this is what i use then I go in with my Bioderma and my Face Halo. 
So the CeraVe, I feel like it takes off about 95% of my makeup. And I wear foundation, powder. I don't wear waterproof mascara, but I wear mascara, eyeliner, um, blush, bronzer. So that takes off most of my makeup. But then I have to always use this combination. So I just put a little bit of this on my face halo and I go over my face gently. I don't ever rub roughly or anything like that. But my face halo, this is like, a, um, it's terry cloth and this is a natural exfoliant that it just, while I'm taking off my makeup, it's also taking off the dead skin cells. So I really like this. I have used glycolic acid in the past and I haven't been using it lately. I find that this takes off the skin cells without using the chemical exfoliation. So I've been doing that. And then I will either use my heavy Josie Marin whipped body butter. I'll go get some of that real quick. Okay, so I will either use my Josie Marin body butter, which I don't know that I'm going to be buying this anymore. Um, I know in the past I've told you guys how much I love this stuff and I still do but I feel like they've changed either the mechanics of the machines that whip it or they've changed the ingredients in it because it's just not the same as it used to be. So I feel like this is going to be my last tub of this. Um, but I put this on my face um, at night. It's very emollient. I feel like it does a good job. Every once in a while, I will, um, before I put on the heavy cream, um, I did buy this, and I will put this on once in a while. It's a snail mucin. I don't know that I really like it. Don't go out and buy it if you haven't tried it. Um, I'm not saying to go out and buy this one. I'm on the fence with it. I feel like a lot of people love it, but... It leaves a weird residue feeling on my skin and it doesn't always play well with my other products and they'll start pilling. Same with the CosRx, the 96% snail mucin. I've had this before, I liked it, but then I started, but then I ran out and about a year went by and I started hearing about it again, so I bought it and again, I'm just, I'm on the fence with both of them. I'm not really sure I, We'll buy them again. Then I will go ahead and put on my heavy cream on my face and that is what I do most days on my face. Now on days where my face is not irritated I will do my tretinoin. So this is my tretinoin. I get it from Agency Skincare. Yes. I used to get it from Curology. Now I get it from Agency. But mine, so it's an online dermatologist and they ask you a bunch of questions you have to upload photos and instead of having to go into the dermatologist you can get your actives online and they send them to you and you can um, if you don't need it you can put it on hold you can pause the delivery but this has 1.14 percent tretinoin which I do need to lower because it's too much. My skin's just not getting used to it. My skin does much better at 1%. So I'm going to just lower it next when I'm done with this, which I almost am. Um, it has, okay, so it has 1.14% tretinoin, azelaic acid, transamic acid, niacinamide. Um, so I will use this if my skin is not irritated and this is my dark spot formula. I will also use this because I get um, melasma. So I have melasma on my forehead. I also have melasma on both sides of my cheeks. So this one has hydroquinone, kojic acid, azelaic acid, resveratrol. And they will switch it up every month or whenever you get delivery because you are not supposed to use hydroquinone for a long period of time continuously. I'm not 100% religious with this, I often forget. So I will use these two or I will use the cream, just depending if my skin is irritated or not. And that is my night routine. For my morning routine every day, 
I will wash my face in the shower with my Josie Marin and this is the Citric Pineapple Enzyme Foaming Face Wash. I like this one. This one's Clean Beauty. I use this in the shower and then when I get out of the shower I go ahead and I will either put down a version of the or put on a version of this so what I do is since this is so thick I wet my hands a little bit get a little bit of this on my hands rub my hands together and then I'll pat my face with that or I will use my Josie Marin milk this I love so much it feels so good on my skin but it's so expensive and I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna buy it again but I'm almost done with this and I'm on the fence whether or not I'm going to buy it again just because it's so pricey. Um, I usually try to get it on sale on QVC. This is two fluid ounces. I think I got this bottle for $50 but normally I think it's over $100. So anyway, I'll do one of the two of these depending on how dry my skin feels and then I let that dry and if my skin is not irritated, I will also go ahead and put on my vitamin C. So this one's by Timeless. They have so many good reviews. I've used this now for a couple years. I really like it. It's 20% vitamin C, ferulic acid, vitamin E. This is, how big of a container is this? This is four fluid ounces. I think normally this is $70, but I always get it on sale. Like sometimes they'll have 20 or 40% off. That's when I get mine on sale. Um, it's non-irritating. It doesn't burn your eyes. I mean, of course you don't want to put it right in your eyes, but I've never had it get into my eyes where it burned. It doesn't smell funny. I don't even think it has a smell, but this is really good for your skin also. And I put this on Again, I'm not religious with it. I need to be because it's so good, but I will put this on when I remember. So this is a good one. I put it on in the morning before I put, after I put on this, because I want it to sink in, I put my vitamin C on, let my vitamin C uh, sink in and then I put on my makeup. And I usually will just go ahead and mix these two together. So this is my foundation, my CC cream, and then this is my sunscreen. So this has SPF 50. This has SPF 50 also. I don't think it hurts to put in, put on more SPF. Um, I don't feel like I'm getting enough SPF with this because I'm only using a small little bit of it. And I think you're supposed to, I think you're supposed to use a quarter of a teaspoon of SPF on your face, which I think is a lot, but so then I just add a little bit of this one and I feel like that gives me full SPF coverage. Um, again, I don't do this every day. I'm not 100% religious with it, but I do think that it's important if you're going to be outside with your face in the sun that you protect it either with SPF and or a hat or some kind of cover up. That's how I take care of my skin on a daily basis. I might go different ways with different products I still have in my cabinets, but for the most part, 90%, 95% of the time, every day that's what i do so anyway guys hopefully you got something out of that video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe if you're not subscribed so you can see future videos please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i really appreciate you guys being here and i'll see you guys in the next video take care everybody bye